Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today, so we just got back from Greece yesterday and really um, eating there, we had no processed foods. Um, everything was just really so fresh. And so I decided that when I came back home, I really, really wanted to stop the processed foods. Like if I wanted to make a granola bar, I'd make it out of oats and I, you know, I just farmer's market and everything like that. So I wanted to show my grocery haul. I just got finished. Um, I don't want to say I'm kind of excessive, but I did go to three separate places. Um, but I only ended up spending like $170 for all of this food that I'm going to show you. So Trader Joe's stuff, everything that I'm about to show you was all like $108. Um, so here we go. Okay. Got two things. Chicken broth. Um, super easy. Like when you want to make homemade like pasta sauce or if you put stuff into a crock pot, super good. Low sodium. Um, jasmine rice. I don't eat rice, but when I do, it is jasmine rice. Um, I never tried these out before, but I figured why not? Um, of course, this is just tuna. It says skipjack tuna. I don't know if that's any different than regular tuna, but it's that. And um, salmon, wild salmon. My dad was telling me that actually farm grown salmon have twice as much fat um, than wild caught salmon. So I figured I'd try this and if I'd like it, I can incorporate it into my salads or um, I made zucchini salmon fritters the other day. Um, so this would be super good. Tomato paste. Um, I don't, um, I don't like buying grocery store tomato sauce anymore, like pasta sauce. I like to make it just because I've seen that there's so many like additional sugars added. Um, when like when I make tomato, when I make my own potato, potato sauce, pasta sauce, I don't add any sugar. So I just get tomato paste and then, um, in my other, like my farmer's market bag, I got like real tomatoes. And so I'll just make it with that. Um, whole wheat flour. Um, I'm trying to see if I taste a difference between normal flour. I don't, I wanted to get almond flour just, but it was like really expensive. This was like $1.99 and almond flour was like half this and it was like $7.50. So, um, we'll see. And then almond, almond milk. So before I had gotten Kodiak pancake mix and, um, nutrition wise, they were pretty much the same. This had less carbohydrates and more protein. Um, this did have more calories though. So I'm going to try this out to see how I like it. I didn't necessarily want like the buttermilk part, but, um, it was brand new at Trader Joe's. So I decided I'd just try it out. Why not? Ooh, here's veggies. Snow peas. I literally couldn't find these anywhere and I went to Trader Joe's and I found them. Um, snack peas. Just a great way to add veggies into your meal. I bought three of these for the plane flight here into Greece. Um, literally, it's just mango slices, but like it's not any sugared or um, it's not sweetened or anything like that. It's literally just dried mango. Um, it's actually, I just took this out of my backpack. I had one slice left. And then of course, jerky, great protein option. Things of edamames, a great um, snack option. Um, so I got these two things of shrimp. So my dad, and he was telling me, like, usually you don't want to buy shrimp from Vietnam, India, or China. And so it's really, really hard to find shrimp that's not in any of those places, but um, Trader Joe's has shrimp, wild caught shrimp from Argentina. It was expensive. This is a really small bag and it was $9. So, um, but I'd rather splurge a little bit then. So I was deciding whether I wanted to get raw chicken or frozen chicken. I've done both. I don't, I am not knowledgeable on the, on the benefits of frozen versus raw chicken. So I figured I'm getting raw chicken and I'm freezing it anyway. So I think it would be basically the same thing. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, comment down below. So I got chicken thighs, which I've seen like a lot of tasty videos use chicken thighs and I've got chicken breasts. So I ended up getting these two. It was only like $6 each, which I thought was pretty good. $9 for three chicken breasts. So, oh. And I'm trying to cut down on my beef intake. I'm, 
I'm trying to be more environmentally cautious of what I'm consuming. Um, so the only really beef that I got was grass fed. He loves burgers and so this comes with four patties. Um, and we'll just make them on the stove here since we don't have a grill. But um, literally comes in a small box. It's not too bad. And that's the only beef I got. And then I figured he'd like this sriracha shrimp bowl. So, so basically Trader Joe's is just like frozen stuff. Um, okay, next thing I'm gonna do, I have like a my sink down. Ooh, hot water. It's very important, even if you get it from farmer's market, let's say you go to um, Walmart or Ingalls or Publix or, or whichever um, grocery store, the amount of wax and chemicals that are on your produce is incredible. I have like a thing, <laughs> I have a sink of water, hot water, full of the sink, whatever. Um, and I'm just gonna pour some in here so that way, um, I can just pop my produce in here. It won't be done. This is now carries for $13 which um, I will assume will go down as they become more in season. Um, but I figured it was a good deal since I would have to buy like two larger things of strawberries um, since I'm not eating a lot of carb heavy fruits um, and blueberries just aren't in season just yet. So um, it's gonna cost me like a hand foot and foot an arm, hand and foot, arm and foot, whatever that phrase is. Also, I'm trying to eliminate my plastic, so I got these reusable um, things from Aldi. I got this bag of apples for two dollars. Peppers for 50 cents each. Pepper was a little bit more expensive, it was like a dollar, but um, these are Andrew's jalapenos. I don't want to put them in there just in case. And these are really the only starchy fruits that I got were pear, green pears, not the, the, the. And I love green-ish bananas. Like bananas like this right now with the green. I don't really love yellow bananas. But. So I ended up getting three zucchinis, um, two cucumbers. Oh, I forgot carrots. I got three tomatoes for any pasta sauce or tomato sauce we'll make or if we're making burgers or taco salad or tacos or anything like that. A dollar thirty. I just I can't believe how like all the oh wait, I'm almost gonna be done. I'll show you what this looks like. Um I had some sweet potatoes but I decided to get some more. I got two russets, but three russet potatoes. Eight potatoes. And really people, there, there's not much of a difference. Oh, I got three sweet potatoes. Nutrition wise between sweet potatoes and normal potatoes. So if you're kind of the person like, oh, I don't eat white rice because it's worse for you. I eat brown rice. Really not a difference. Okay, I think that's it. Um, and then I got these, it was like $2 for eight of them. Then I got this, um, I think it was $3 for nine oranges. I'm just telling you guys, farmer's market is the way to go. I got this big watermelon and a cantaloupe. Look at all of that. So good. I usually get my chicken there just because um, it's higher quality chicken. Like obviously there's no hormones, which was cool about Trader Joe's as well because all of their frozen stuff have no hormones or anything like that. So, oh dang. It's ground chicken, not ground turkey. Oh, I guess we'll see if you like a difference. So I decided to switch it up and so if I ever get hungry throughout the day I'll just do this probably add like half of a banana um, I usually add spinach but I didn't get any spinach because I couldn't find any at the farmers market um, 
and I'm just gonna put some water and that will keep me full for about three hours. I went to Target, of course, and I ended up, I only, I went for only these things and I ended up getting so many more things just as everybody does when they go to Target. But, um, like I told you, I'm trying to be more environmentally cautious and so um, I got these silicone storage bags. So, not only is it for like snacks that you can take, it's basically replacing Ziploc bags. Um, but these you can put in the dishwasher, you can put in the freezer, you can put in the oven. Uh, don't quote me on that. You can put dishwasher, microwave, freezer, fridge, stove, and oven. And so you're not having to use plastic Ziploc bags. So they come, I know they come in gallon bags as well, but this is the half gallon. Um, the company is called Stasher. Um, they also have like sandwich bags. So, and these come in different colors as well. So it comes in these colors in the back. I decided that I would go with clear just because Andrew won't want to take like girly stuff. And then these smaller ones in case you take like crackers or strawberries or whatever it is. So I wanted to show that, just trying to be more environmentally cautious. Also, um, I did get alternatives to laundry detergent. Um, just because our laundry detergents have so much chemicals and dyes and things like that. Um, I wanted to look at something that was reasonably priced. Um, that wasn't, that I'm not going to be like wasting my money or this is only going to give me like three loads or anything like that. So I decided, I did research and I found this company. It's called BioClean and I got this from Target. Um, it's, this looks pretty small. Like it's just this, basically the size of my head. Um, but it's three times concentrated, so you don't need that many cups. Literally, it says use half a cup for small loads and a full cup for standard to large loads. And this cup is tiny. Um, it's literally all it is. And it smells good. There were other ones that just didn't have any scent at all. So I'm gonna try this out. Um, it's just a great way. It's plant-based. Um, I will be adding different videos on new recipes that I'm trying. I'm kind of doing like a mix in between paleo and keto. Well, basically, I don't want to put a label on it. I just want to be eating healthy. I want to be eating um, a lot more vegetables than I used to and stuff that's not processed, like I said. So I'm going to be adding new recipes and I'll add them on my channel. Um, any like cool things that I find I'm placing an Amazon order today for more of my environmentally friendly stuff so um, if you have any questions let me know um, and thanks for looking in um, looking in thanks for watching my video um,